Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. So in the previous videos, we went over the absolute basics of Python. Now it's time to dive into more advanced topics. So in this video, we'll start with a new topic and that is object-oriented programming. Now Python is a multi-paradigm programming language, but one of the most popular approach for problem solving is by creating objects. In our previous videos, we had been using objects, but everything was working in abstraction like when we opened a file using the open function we got a file handle or a file object using which we were able to manipulate the contents of our file. But now we will see how we can create our own objects and what actually is object oriented programming in Python. Now let us go over some quick points before we start to dive into some code. Now objects in Python. An object has two characteristics. It has a well defined set of attributes. It has some behavior. To illustrate this, let me take an example. For example, car is an object. It has a car name, model number, price, color as its attributes and drive, brake as its behavior for which it was made in first place. So the main focus is to create a reusable code and this concept is also known by the term dry which stands for don't repeat yourself. Now let us learn about a topic that is closely connected to object oriented programming called as classes. So what is a class? A class is a blueprint based on which we define our objects. So for the same card that we discussed as an example, the class pertaining to that will contain the name of the car, the model number, the price and color as its attributes based on which we can study the car. So car is an object and it is based on some blueprint that defines how a car should look like, its attributes and how it should behave. So we can make use of the class keyword to define an empty class for now. And let me name it as car. And the first letter should be in uppercase. Now from this class blueprint we can construct objects or you can say instances created from a particular class which in this case is car. Now let us see more on objects on a granular level. Though we understand what an object is in layman terms, let us give a standard definition to objects. An object is an instance of a class that is based on the attributes and the behavior that is defined by the blueprint. This means that you specify the attribute and behavior of a real world thing and from that blueprint you can create multiple instances of that thing based on what you define in the blueprint. Now as a side note when you define the blueprint only the description for object is provided no memory gets allocated at this point. But once you create an instance based on that blueprint that you define within the class it is then when memory is allocated to an object. So now we know what classes and objects are, let us see how we can define a blueprint using the class keyword and then create instances based on that blueprint. So I'm back in my Visual Studio code. So in order to define a class, we are using the class keyword followed by the name of the class which is car, uppercase C and then a colon. And now we are within the scope of the class. Now make sure you have the indentation otherwise whatever you define will be on the root scope of the file and not within the class. Now within the class let us define some attributes for the car. But before that let us learn about attributes. So we have a couple of them. We have class variables, instance variables and static variables. So let us go over them quickly and we will discuss them later in depth in other videos. First let us talk about instance variables. Now instance variables are those variables whose values are specific to that instance and they are not shared equally among different instances of the class. On the other hand we have the class variables that are bound to the class and we will learn them later in coming videos. And then we have the static variables in Python which are those variables whose values are shared among different instances of the class. So now we know briefly about them. Let us find the blueprint for our car. But wait, we are missing one more concept and that is what helps us to create set up the initial values of our instance variables and create an object for us based on the defined blueprint and that concept is constructors. So let us go back to the slides and talk about constructors. Now let us answer the question what are constructors in Python? Well constructors are class functions that begin with a double underscore and they are also called as special functions because they have a significance of its own. Of one particular interest is the double underscore init double underscore function 
And what is special about this function is that it automatically or you can say implicitly gets invoked when you create a new object based on the blueprint that you define within the class. Now as a side note, all the initialization of variables go inside the constructor functions. So now we know what a constructor function is. Let us define one for our class that will initialize all the attributes for a car object before it constructs one. So I can say def double underscore init double underscore and colon and press enter. Now the first argument of the constructor function is your self parameter and we will discuss about self in just a minute and then let us define the values of attributes that we want in our cars. So this will take on the name of our car which will pass while creating a new instance and the model number, the price and the color. And now let us set the values for all these attributes so I can say self dot name set that to name self dot model number set that to model number self dot price set that to price self dot color set that to color now this is our constructor function for the class where we are doing all the initialization stuff now we can also define static variable and these variables are shared equally among all the instances that are based on this blueprint that we are defining right inside our class. So let us define a static variable for the car that is number of wheels. So I can say number of wheels and set that to 4. Now this is under the assumption that every car based on the above blueprint that we are defining has 4 wheels, right? So now we have defined the blueprint for our car let us see how we can create an object in python and this is also known as instantiation so let us define a variable right outside the class and i will name it as mercedes and then we'll try to create a new instance for the class and we'll pass on these parameters and what will happen under the hood is it will spit out a new instance based on the blueprint that we have defined within the class. So as the name of the car, I will pass Mercedes, then A class, which is the model number, then some price, say 32,500, and then the color black. And then let us create one more instance or object. So I can say BMW car BMW and model number is say I8 and 185130 and red so now we have the two objects defined based on the above blueprint and we have defined the attributes for each of the car instance that we are creating right so what will happen is under the hood the constructor function will get invoked implicitly and will set up the initialization of all the attributes pertaining to each of these instances namely mercedes and bmw objects so let us go back to our constructor function and now let us see where the self parameter comes into picture. Now here this first parameter self points to or you can say refers the object that you are instantiating which is Mercedes for this invocation and BMW for this invocation. And then using the self parameter you are setting up the initialization for your object. So this refers the current instance that you are working on and then you are setting up the attributes for each of the instances namely Mercedes and BMW. So first you are setting up the attributes for your Mercedes instance and then you are setting up the attributes for your BMW instance. So now inside our class let us define a method and I will name it as get car price. So def get car price and this will take on the self parameter to refer to the current instance that you are working on and then you can return the price of the instance that you're working on so in this case the car instance the price of that car instance that you just initialized and here we are just returning the price attribute pertaining to the car instance pointed to by self parameter so now let us invoke the method right here so i can say print mercedes price now on the mercedes instance that we just created 
I will invoke the method get card price and then paste this down below. Let us change this to BMW and then BMW dot get card price. So now let us run the file Python oops dot py and now you can see we are getting the price for both the cars. Now as a very important thing to keep in mind is that whenever you invoke a method like get car price on an instance which in this case is Mercedes what we are doing here in the above two print statements is that the object itself will get passed as the first argument of our method and then the object gets passed here the self parameter will point to that object and then using this self parameter you can access the price attribute sitting on the object which in this case is Mercedes that gets passed to the get car price method. So this was all I wanted to cover about object creation and the self parameter. So this was all about the video on introduction to classes where we covered what are constructor functions, how we can create objects based on defined blueprint, how we can define methods and we also went over the self parameter. So in the next video we'll learn about static and class methods in Python. So if you like the video do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to get the notification for all the upcoming uploads and I will see you guys in the next one.